This is not my real IP address and I also do not live in this location. Since my real IP and location is hidden, I am now completely anonymous on the internet. So this is what we are going to be learning in this video. We are going to be learning how professional hackers stay completely hidden while surfing the internet. So let's get started. I'm in my Kali Linux machine right now and the tools that we are going to be using to stay hidden is proxy chains and Tor. So I will first open my terminal and first install Tor with the command sudo apt install Tor and press enter. Type the password for your user. Do you want to continue? Press capital Y and then press enter. After Tor is installed, we are going to install proxy chain. So type the command sudo apt install proxy chains and press enter. Do you want to continue? Press capital Y and then press enter. After proxy chains is installed, we are going to start the Tor service with the command sudo service tor start and press enter. Now check the status of the service sudo service tor status. I can see tor is now active and running. Next, we need to edit the proxy chain configuration file with our favorite text editor. So I'll be using nano, but you're free to choose any text editor that you want. So I'll type the command sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash proxy chains dot conf and press enter inside this file we will edit the configurations so with your down arrow key come to the line dynamic chain and remove the hashtag in front of it removing the hashtag will uncomment the line which will make dynamic chain enable next with your down arrow key go to the line strict chain and add a hashtag in start of the line which will comment this line out if you come from a programming background you might know that Adding hashtag at the start of any line makes the line commented and it is not interpreted as part of the code. So we have now disabled the strict chain and enabled dynamic chain. The main difference between dynamic chain and strict chain is dynamic chain will skip the dead proxies and will go through the proxies that are online unlike strict chain. After making the change with your down arrow key go down until you see the line proxy DNS make sure it is uncommented meaning that if it has a hashtag in front of it remove it to make it enable enabling it will make sure your dns server ip is not leaked after this go to the end of the file and here we have to add our proxy servers we can add the proxy server in this format however in this video i will not be adding any proxy server i will configure so that my traffic goes through the tor network tor network will give me more privacy so that's why i'm configuring tor network with proxy chains by default proxy chain is configured to use tor and it is using SOX4. I'll just add one more. I will type SOX5 double space 127.0.0.1 space 9050. So exactly like the previous line with 5 being the exception. I'm using SOX5 because SOX5 is the improved version for SOX4. Other than this, I will not get into the details of the difference between the two. So after making the changes, save your file with Ctrl plus O at the same time in your keyboard and then press enter. Now my file is saved. Then I will quit out of the file with Ctrl plus X at the same time in my keyboard. Now we are all done. We can start browsing the internet anonymously. So I will type proxy chains space the name of the browser that I want to serve the internet with. I will type Firefox and press enter and my Firefox has started. If I go to the site dnsleaktest.com, I can see my IP is completely changed and it is showing me that I'm from the country Switzerland. If I do an extended test, I can confirm my DNS IP is also not leaked, which makes me completely anonymous over internet. If you want to change your IP, then open your terminal again and type the command sudo service tor restart and press enter. And now if I refresh the page again or go to dnsleaktest.com again, I can see I get a new IP and my location is also changed again. That is for the end of the video. This is how you stay anonymous while browsing the internet. If you like this video and want to watch more content related to anonymity, Kali Linux or ethical hacking, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.